All right, the second day of the week in regards to practice is wrapped for the San Francisco 49ers, and we have the official practice reports according to multiple sources. So, obviously, the main thing that everyone wants to know about is Christian McCaffrey, and for the second day in a row, Christian has logged another limited participation in practice. So, obviously, you would like to think that's good news. We saw some clips online of CMC looking like he's moving well. Um, so it, it's just a challenging one, right? Because everyone wants to know, is he going to play? And especially when you look back at last week, he was limited all throughout the week, listed as questionable on the final injury report. You asked Christian McCaffrey if he was going to be playing. He said yes. John Lynch said he was ready to roll. And again, we understand uh, that particular day, didn't feel right. They weren't going to risk it. Obviously a tough decision, but they went with Jordan Mason, and now everyone knows who Jordan Mason is as a result. So in regards to Christian McCaffrey, it's a positive sign to see him out there moving, practicing, doing everything as we would expect. So we'll continue to monitor this. I think we have to wait until, honestly, game time, unless the final injury report is anything more positive than questionable. If he's questionable again after Friday's practice report, then I think it's like, okay, well, we're going to have to wait for game time now just because that was a very similar situation. There are more players that participated in limited fashion. And I think two really good signs for some players who missed week one. D. Winters and Yeter Grossmatos were both limited today after missing yesterday. So this is a positive trend. If they can put another limited participation for tomorrow and they get maybe a questionable tag, there is a chance we could see potentially D. Winters and Eater Gross Matos as well against the Vikings. Again, we're still in the wait and see period. It's why we monitor practice reports all throughout the week. It kind of helps us identify the trends of who we think is going to play and who isn't. Also, we had some additional limited participants today. Aaron Banks was limited. As we know, he left the game against the Jets. Spencer Burford filled in. So that's a guy that we'll kind of monitor as well. But it is good that he is turning in at least limited participations. Talanoa Hufanga as well, a limited practice. And Jawan Jennings, who had that hip drop tackle kind of rolled up on. Everyone is limited. Uh, they did not have any DNPs. So everyone practiced today. That was able, and uh, that's a good sign. So, obviously, the main story is what's Christian McCaffrey going to be doing on uh, Sunday against the Vikings? We're still in a wait-and-see period on that, but at least I think we did get some good news with Yuter Gross Matos and Dee Winters and, of course, guys who got dinged up a little bit. They've been participating throughout the week, so uh, they're trending in the right direction for playing. So we'll, we'll see how that continues to progress. But, but overall, uh, uh, I would say, again, optimistic. If I had to assign a feeling to what we've seen from some of the practice clips, what we're hearing from the reports. But again, it's still wait and see for CMC. So stay locked in. Any obviously new information, any news, I'll bring it to you as quickly as I can. But this is the official practice report for today. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.